Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and also all of those who have gathered here today, we are now approaching to hear a message from the headquarters of the Ukrainian National Progressive Party regarding the celebration of Ukrainian National Day and also the current awkward situation in Ukraine state in Myanmar. And for the message to be heard by everyone here today, we are now would like to invite Pastor Grace to read the message in English and Kumire to read the message in Kaya. <laughs> Now join us in welcoming them to read the message from Ukrainian National Progressive Parties and Kodesh. Message from the headquarters of the Korean National Progressive Party on the 149th anniversary of Korean National Day, 21st June 2024. Beloved fellow Korean, on this auspicious occasion on the 149th Korean National Day, the headquarters of the Korean National Progressive Party, KNPP, conveys its best wishes for the good health, happiness, prosperity, and freedom from pain of all Korean people. Today marks the event when the government of British and King of Burma signed a treaty recognizing the independence and sovereignty of Korea on the 21st June 1875 and celebrated annually as recognizing the independence, sorry, celebrated annually as Korean National Day to honor the history, lasting heart, heritage, resilience, cultures, and unity of Korean people. The Korean National Progressive Party, in order to implement equality, justice, and self-determination based on Korean people's history, has waged resistance struggle, recognizing that the party shares the interests of Korean people. As such, KNPP has collaborated with diverse Korean resistance stakeholders and led the formation of Korean State Consultative Council, Korean State Interim Parliament, Korean Interim Executive Council, and Korean State Interim Judiciary under the principles laid out in Korean Interim Arrangements with objectives to uproot all forms of dictatorship and establish Federal Democratic Union. Since the Myanmar military coup in February 2021, Korean State has borne the brunt of military junta atrocities, with more than 40% of Korean population have been forcefully displaced since May 2021, majority of them being women and children. The military junta has been targeting Korean civilians by attacking camps of displaced people, schools, hospitals and clinics with airstrikes mortars, landmines, and other forms of attack that have injured and killed civilians. The military junta has also used civilians, including women and children, as human shields in conflict areas. Korean state remains in a dire situation because of continued atrocities committed by the military junta. However, in order to push back the military junta and protect Korean people, Korean resistant forces have captured and controlled over 90% of Korean state. Although various challenges persist, the determination of Korean resistant forces to reclaim Korean people's self-determination will not waver. Korean National Day is an occasion when we take pride in our unity, values, and history. We affirm our commitment on the right to self-determination and celebrate our rich cultural heritages. Therefore, in commemoration on the 149th Korean National Day, KNPP calls on all Korean people from every corner of the world to participate in the, participate in the fight to eradicate dictatorship and establish a federal democratic union that will guarantee complete right to self determination for Korean state and its people. May all Korean people be able to enjoy peace, 
and re-establish their lives as soon as possible. Headquarters, Ukrainian National Progressive Party.